Merhaba! I'm Jeanette O'Cory here with Tom Garza of the Texas Language Center at the University of Texas at Austin. I teach Turkish in the Department of Middle Eastern Studies at UT. In this video, I will introduce you to Turkish studies at UT and explain why Turkish is such an interesting and useful language to learn. Let's start with the basics. Where do people learn Turkish? And why should any American consider learning it? Originating in the furthest reaches of Central Asia, the Turkish language crossed continents to become one of Europe and Asia's most important historical languages with the growth of the Ottoman Empire. Today, Turkish is spoken in the modern Republic of Turkey, as well as in Bulgaria, Cyprus, Greece, and various communities in the Balkans and Central Asia, as well as in immigrant communities around the world. Languages in the Turkic family, like Azeri, Kazakh, Kyrgyz, Turkmen, Uzbek, Uyghur, and Yakut, are spoken across the Middle East and Central Asia. The largest Turkish expat community in the United States lives in Patterson, New Jersey, but there are also sizable Turkish communities in Houston, Dallas, and even Austin. Turkey's fast-growing economy and location as a bridge between Europe and Asia have made it a constant center of interest, investment, and study for students and professionals from a variety of different fields. If you're a student of the Middle East, looking to learn a language that will open access to one of the region's key players, a linguist searching for a gateway to an enormous and diverse family of languages, or an aspiring business person looking to make deals in thriving metropolises like Istanbul, Ankara, Astana, or Berlin, Turkish will open doors and provide a foundation for your long-term goals. It's important to know that the U.S. government has designated Turkish as one of the critical languages that more Americans need to learn. That means that there are lots of federally funded scholarships available for you to study the language. But more about that later. But does Turkish language learning really matter? Yes, it does, and here's why. Turkish is critical for the global community as well as the U.S., given Turkey's young workforce, its economy, and rising stature in the international business community. American corporations interested in doing business in Turkey would undoubtedly benefit from Turkish language acquisition. There is no better way to emphasize a strong business investment in and commitment to Turkey or other Turkic nations than for U.S. business partners to demonstrate cultural understanding and appreciation by sharpening their language skills. By fostering business relations in this manner, Americans and Turks can better communicate and support one another on mutual areas of interest surrounding economic and business goals. An increase in U.S.-Turkey business partnerships would result in a greater emphasis on sustaining positive relations between the two nations long term. Moreover, Turkey, our NATO ally since the 1950s, sits at the political crossroads between Russia, Syria, Iran, Europe, various Arab nations, and the United States. As a result, Turkish can serve as a valuable point of commonality for both Turkey and the U.S. when addressing shared foreign policy interests. Proficiency in Turkish by U.S. government and military officials, foreign service officers, and NGO staff is key and can certainly strengthen U.S.-Turkey relations by providing greater ease in communication and a heightened sense of support surrounding pressing current affairs, such as growing global security issues like the Syrian war and refugee crisis, the Kurdish-Turkish conflict, and yes, even COVID-19. American citizens' proficiency in Turkish can increase their employability, not only in Turkey or at Turkish organizations based in the United States, but also in sectors that seem all-American, but are actually quite international. Just like we need doctors, nurses, teachers, librarians, lawyers, social workers, engineers, real estate agents, university professors, and even bus drivers who can speak Spanish and Chinese, we need Americans who know Turkish and can provide quality services to new Turkish-American immigrants. In short, 
the act of learning Turkish will not only broaden your personal horizons, learning a foreign language like Turkish is also a profound way of showing another people that we as Americans truly respect their language, nation, culture, and people. Successful communication is a key part of coming together in mutual respect and working together to combat global challenges. Nelson Mandela once said, if you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his own language, that goes to his heart. Likewise, there is a Turkish saying about how for each language you speak, you become a different person. And I believe this to be true. Speaking Turkish has given me the opportunity to become more than just a girl from North Carolina. It has allowed me to connect with people from different parts of the world on another level. Now more than ever, language sharing allows diverse peoples to connect, businesses to expand, and relationships to be created and strengthened. So, enough of these generalities. Let's talk about Turkish at UT. The Turkish language program is located in the Department of Middle Eastern Studies in the College of Liberal Arts. Our department offers a minor in Turkish and opportunities for undergraduate students to study Turkish and Turkey within its Bachelor of Arts degrees in Middle Eastern Studies, Middle Eastern Languages and Cultures, and Islamic Studies. Students majoring in International Relations and Global Studies, Government, History, and Economics often choose to study Turkish. Students interested in advanced degrees concentrating on Turkey may enroll in programs such as Middle Eastern Studies, Government, History, Comparative Literature, Ethnomusicology, Art History, or Anthropology. Master's students in the UT Center for Middle Eastern Studies Dual Language Track Program often choose Turkish as one of their two Middle Eastern languages. The Turkish language program is small but dynamic. Instruction is focused on building students' communication skills and intercultural proficiency. All students taking Turkish have the opportunity to study the language for three years with the goal of achieving a minimum of advanced proficiency. The first one and a half years of language learning are centered on building vocabulary and grammatical competency. In the fourth semester, students transition to content classes taught entirely in Turkish. Students may continue to take Turkish language content courses in their third or even fourth year, or may choose to study abroad in Turkey or Azerbaijan. Training in the Turkish language is accompanied by related course offerings in Middle Eastern Studies, European Studies, Slavic and Eurasian Studies, and the College of Fine Arts. Students may also pursue further area studies coursework abroad via UT's full campus exchange program with Boğaziçi University in Istanbul, which allows students to apply their scholarships and financial aid packages towards summer, semester, or year-long study abroad and receive transfer credit for their coursework upon their return. The UT College of Engineering also runs a college-wide exchange program with Middle East Technical University in Ankara, Turkey, enabling engineering students to study abroad and graduate on time as well. Boğaziçi University and Middle East Technical University, Turkey's premier English language campuses, offer our students both rigorous coursework in English and excellent Turkish language training. Students who complete Turkish language coursework elsewhere and wish to continue in UT's Turkish language courses must take the department's Turkish placement exam. Approximately 70% of our undergraduate and 90% of our graduate Turkish language students study abroad or conduct research abroad during their time at UT. Many of these students participate in intensive summer language programs in Turkey or Azerbaijan. These include Boğaziçi University's TLCP program, Ankara University's Tumar courses, or the Department of Education's Critical Language Scholarship program. These students return with significantly higher language proficiency. UT graduate students and faculty members also conduct research independently in Turkey, making use of Turkish libraries and archives and utilizing their academic or professional contacts to reach information or interview subjects. 
Some pursue further training in Ottoman Turkish via summer programs in Turkey. UT student and faculty research in Turkey and Azerbaijan is regularly supported by scholarships and grants like Fulbright, Arit NEH, Boren, Institute of Turkish Studies, and various others. Students' Turkish language study on and off campus is supported by scholarships from FLAS, Arit AATT, the ITS, Critical Language Scholarship, the Turkish American Coalition of America, and other in-house UT study abroad scholarships. Almost all UT students who seek funding for language study or research abroad find it. And because there are few students seeking it, some applicants find funding for multiple semesters and summers. On the UT Middle Eastern Studies Turkish webpage, you can find a set of brief student profiles that demonstrates the high quality of our Turkish language program, the exceptional caliber of our students, and the important role their language study at UT plays in their academic or professional achievement. It's also worth mentioning all the extracurricular activities and events organized by the Turkish Language Program and the Center for Middle Eastern Studies. First, there's our weekly Turkish Tea and Conversation Hour, attended by intermediate and advanced level students of Turkish, as well as by native Turkish speakers. The Conversation Hour facilitates students' language practice and fosters intercultural dialogue and friendships. Intermediate and advanced Turkish language students have also created an online Turkish language newspaper called Uturk Haber, and they've subtitled Turkish films. The Turkish Ottoman Lecture Series is an interdisciplinary lecture series that carries out the Center for Middle Eastern Studies' mission of actively encouraging students, faculty, and community members to work comparatively across and beyond national boundaries. Since its inception, this lecture series has brought over 25 visiting scholars and artists to the UT campus to speak on Turkey and the Ottoman Empire. The Center for Middle Eastern Studies also hosted the Rethinking Ottoman Civilization Symposium in 2017 and the American Association of Teachers of Turkic Languages fourth annual pedagogical conference in 2019. The Islamic Studies and Middle Eastern Studies Graduate Colloquium provides regular opportunity for students, faculty, and staff across the university to present research on the study of Islam and the Muslim world, including the Ottoman and Turkic world. Dr. Sonia Seaman directs the UT Middle Eastern Music Ensemble and its Turkish Language Choir. Both are groups comprised of UT students, faculty, staff, and community members. The ensemble has four goals, to gain experiential understanding of the music and cultures of the Middle East, North Africa, and former Ottoman territories, to foster community outreach, to work with UT language and other classes, and to create a sense of community around musical performance. If you think you'd like to be part of the Turkish language community at UT and already have some experience with the language, be sure to sign up to take the Department of Middle Eastern Studies Turkish Placement Exam in late August. The placement exam determines which course in our department's language sequence is appropriate for you based on your current level of proficiency. Credit for courses in the sequence that a student places out of may be granted if so desired. If you have further questions about Turkish studies at UT, please contact me, Dr. Jeanette Okur at jeanette.okur at austin.utexas.edu. Thanks for listening. Hoşçakalın.